Hi everyone, and welcome to Tinkerman RC. Today I'd like to share with you part two of the Hangar 9 F4U1D 60cc Corsair. Talk about where we're at and what we've done since the last video. Okay, let's start off by looking at the uh, airplane fuselage and wing. As you can see, we've got it primered. I use class coat primer. And if you'll notice, you'll see all the panel lines that I have and the flight metal. Now the panel lines, that's chart pack tape that I've laid down off uh, photos from the uh, Real Corsair to get the panel lines in the area that they are. The flight metal is uh, laid down to uh, represent panels, so it'll be a raised panel when it's done. And you can see I have all the uh, panels and uh, panel lines on. I got them as close as I could get them looking off all the prints in the photo, so that came out great. Uh, back here on the tail, you see the uh, horizontal stabilizer and the tail cones all blended in. So, yeah. so that came out good. We also have our tail wheel gear doors installed. They're fit and they're fared and, and they're ready to go. All right, so up front, as you can see, we have the cowl just temporarily installed. We also have the panel lines laid out on the cowling. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cowling because there's something I want to show you. So let me go ahead and uh, pull this cowling off. Okay, the cowling's off. All right, what you see is this is a custom firewall from Calio. They make a custom firewall that you uh, order, you build it, and it's for the Sato FG84. Makes the installation real easy. Now let me show you something about this. All right, so here we have our Sato FG84 right here. And yes, I have the air fins off because I was fitting it on the uh, airplane. All right, as you can see, it'll set in just like this, all right, right up against that uh, firewall. I'm just holding it to show you. The exhaust has the clearance that it needs. And what we've done is by pre-setting it before we um, aero epoxied it in, we set our distance from the prop. So in other words, the engine's installed, we put the cowl on, and we set the distance with our, for our prop gap to the cowling. So we got all that done. So I wanted to share, with, share that with you. It requires a little bit of modification to get it to fit, but hey, it came out great and it makes the engine installation a lot easier. The second point I wanted to make on the uh, engine installation is here in your cowl, as you can see, you won't have to notch out anything on the cowl. The engine sets back in here far enough to where you won't have to notch it, uh, the cowling. And the prop distance to the cowl is set correctly by sliding the uh, engine uh, firewall in and out of the airframe. So we've got all that set. All right, so now down on the table, I'm just showing you the flight controls are all done and they're painted. And they have their panel lines on along with the flight metal that's been painted over. The tail feathers, as you see here, I, I simulated the uh, trim tabs. And they need another coat of the poly spray, which is the pink. And I also have the rib stitching in. So we've got that done. We've got to finish that. Also on the rudder, as you can see here. Um, here, over here, you'll see the products that I'm using. This is the poly brush and the poly spray. The poly brush is the pink, with what you see on the tail feathers. And the poly spray, we spray over that to give it our silver. And then we come back over with our paint. Here is our class coat primer that I'm using with the reducer. So, to move forward with the airplane, guys, what we have to do is we got to put another coat of primer on the airplane. So we're going to put another coat of white primer. We're going to sand down to our um, panel lines. And then we're going to remove that chart pack tape. And we're going to, like I said, sand lightly till we just see the tape. We're going to remove the tape, and then it'll be ready for the riveting and then paint. All right, so um, this is where we are. This is part two. I appreciate everyone watching. The next video, will show it to you when it's all primed and a lot of the uh, major components installed. I appreciate everyone watching out there. Take care, and happy flying from Tinkerman RC.